Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel. You've got Bert the Herd over here and Lanny, and we're here to talk to you about another dividend stock battle between two utility giants. And we're curious which of these utility dividend stocks you may buy. You know the drill, everybody. Smash that subscribe button. Get ready for that battle royale. If you like this video, give us that thumbs up after, please. We really want that thumbs up so we can keep bringing you great dividend stock battle royales like this one. So let's jump right in. Lanny, take it away. So we wanted to bring another dividend stock battle because we've received uh, numerous requests to do these. And one request we have received is to do one on two utility giants. And what do I mean by utility? I mean by your electricity, your energy type of supplier that households and businesses use and pay for every single day. It's all about building that steady, reliable, growing, passive income stream. So what's better than to own companies that are plugged in the way Lanny just described, that businesses are using through good times and bad. Did you just drop a, a pun in there with being plugged in? I did. Wow, I don't even know if he knew he did that. It wasn't intentional, but that sometimes it just works out that way. What two dividend stocks are we pairing up to see which one comes out as the winner? Well, in the right corner, we have one of our top five foundation stocks, Consolidated Edison, ticker symbol ED. And in the other corner, we have Duke Energy, ticker symbol D-U-K. So whenever we bring up Consolidated Edison, whenever we talk about our top five foundation stocks, we always get, why don't you consider Duke? So you know what? Let's put some action, let's crunch some numbers, let's pin the two against each other. If you actually mesh the two tickers together, you can own both of them and say, I've been duped. Right you are, Lanny. I, I don't know what else more I can really say to that one. So everyone, let's get duped. Let's go put together and run these two companies through the Dividend Diplomats a Dividend Stock Screener. As all you viewers out there already know, or if you don't know, our Dividend Diplomats Dividend Stock Screener has three metrics we like to look at. One is the price to earnings ratio. Coming in hot second is the dividend payout ratio and really looking at the safety of that dividend. Third is going to be the dividend growth, both from a rate standpoint and a dividend growth streak. And for all of our dividend showdowns too, we throw in a fourth bonus metric of the dividend yield so you can see which one's paying you a higher dividend today. And the reason why we're throwing in that dividend yield is because you're an income investor. You want to own assets that produce money for you so that you can use that on your way to financial freedom. Now that we know what's in our stock screener, everybody, let's jump right in. Let's pin, pin Consolidated Edison versus Duke Energy. Let's get after it. All right, to start with the first dividend metric of price to earnings ratio, Consolidated Edison. Trading at a little bit under $74 per share right now, and analysts are projecting $4.51. So when you take that share price and you take that over those projected earnings, you're actually looking at a forward earning of just a little over 16 times. So Duke, on the other hand, they're trading at just under $82 a share. Those forward analyst earnings are $5.21, giving us a PE ratio of 15.7. Now you see that Duke right now is slightly winning the battle with a slightly, mm -hmm. slightly lower price to earnings ratio. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean, as you're, you may be wondering? Well, this is your valuation. The current overall stock market trades at almost 27 to 29 times earnings. So this is obviously showing undervaluation comparative to the market as a whole. But in specific here, we're comparing two within the industry, so you can see that this is a very consistent price-to-earnings ratio. Yep, so what we're seeing is the sector is below the broader market, and within the sector here, Duke Energy is trading at a slight discount to Consolidated Edison. But in our eyes, both of them pass this first metric here. All right, metric number two, everybody, the dividend payout ratio. Typically, when we're looking for at dividend payout ratio, we like to find companies that are under 60%. We think that's the nice balance here for companies that can reinvest in their company, continue growing their earnings, and also paying shareholders a nice return. So company number one, Consolidated Edison here, 
They pay an annual dividend of $3.06 per share. Using that forward earnings of $4.51 gives a payout ratio of 67.8, almost 68%, a little bit above our threshold, but I'm very interested, interested to see how they compare to Duke. Now, before we get into Duke, the utility industry in general typically has a higher dividend payout ratio, and that's typically because they're not companies like Tesla or Apple. They're not here reinventing the world. They're literally providing you a means of energy to turn on your lights, you know, to turn on your car, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's, they're not here to, you know, to change up the game too much. So that's why you see a higher sure. dividend payout ratio. It's an important point to bring up. Um, so Duke, on the other hand, pays a dividend of $3.86 on a go forward basis. Now, taking that, obviously, over their projected earnings, and you're seeing uh, just under 75% dividend payout ratio, so much higher than Con Ed. Yeah, and that's interesting to see. They're not quite at the 100%, so these again, as Landy said, this is a mature industry. Earnings are pretty predictable and stable. Are we overly concerned about it? No. However, if earnings were to fall, and these numbers started creeping up towards 100%, I would start to be a little concerned about the safety of the dividend. Now to bring in dividend diplomat stock metric number three is gonna be dividend growth. First, we'll talk about how many years these two companies have increased their dividend consecutively back to back to back, not one-offs here and there. So we'll talk first about the dividend aristocrat, Con Ed. You mean the almost dividend king? Almost dividend king, they'll be there in just a few short years. And how? Because they've had 45 years of consecutive dividend increases. They've been increasing their dividend annually long before the two of us have been born, which is exactly what we want to see in a dividend growth stock. That reliable, growing dividend. That is huge for Consolidated Edison. Duke, on the other hand, they're not a dividend aristocrat yet. Remember, dividend aristocrats are companies that have increased their dividend for 25 consecutive years. So if Duke isn't an aristocrat, you know that they haven't increased their dividend for that long of a period of time. In fact, they haven't even increased it for double digit consecutive years. They have increased their dividend for eight consecutive years. So the number of years that Burt looks. Hey, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take looking young. There's nothing wrong with that. Just a little bit older than eight is what I'd prefer. So obviously that's a huge difference here between the two companies. One's a dividend aristocrat that has increased their dividend for a long time. Duke is still relatively new to the dividend growth, which leaves us susceptible to seeing if they're gonna increase their dividend if the pandemic kicks on for a few more years or if there's another major economic cycle. So Burr, you know, one other thing that we should consider is, well, how, how strong are they growing that dividend? You know, Duke may, Duke may edge out Con Ed here. So let's take a look. What What is Consolidated Edison's dividend growth rate over the last five years on average? Again, their average dividend growth rate is 3.3% above inflation, definitely above where you, the rate you are earning on your savings account. And then Duke Lanny, why don't you take us over there? I'll, ta I'll take you over there. I'll take you over in that direction. So Duke, on the other hand, is right there with Con Ed. They're not here smashing records or making Con Ed look bad. Duke Energy, their last five years on average dividend growth rate is just a just a hair above 3.4 percent just a bit outside yeah little okay. drag <laughs> so all right so the dividend growth isn't great still better than inflation so in my mind when i see let's go into this bonus metric because when let's i see it. a company that has let's a low do dividend growth i want to see some dividend yield getting returned to us as well so that we're at least getting a high yield if we're not having a strong growth rate. Consolidated Edison's dividend yield, 4.1%, just under 4.2. So very solid dividend yield. It's above my portfolio average, which I like. And again, much higher than that rate that my cash is earning in the savings account. What about Duke? Duke is duking out Con Ed right now in the dividend yield category. They're actually yielding almost 5% at almost 4.75. So that is obviously quite a bit more than Con Ed, roughly 60 basis points more. That's a nice little premium there above Con Ed. So you would think that with Duke, though they have a higher dividend payout ratio, 
their dividend yield is naturally higher. So that actually correlated mm -hmm. fairly well. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see. I'd be concerned if it was a higher payout ratio and a lower yield, but that's clearly not the case. So Bert, if you were to look at two companies right now, what dividend stock here in the utility industry is a stock to buy based on these dividend stock mm -hmm. metrics? Honestly, Lanny, both of the company's metrics are looking pretty great to me. There's the one differentiating factor, but I'll start with summarizing the metrics. Both have PE ratios below the market, and they're pretty close, although Duke is slightly lower. Con Ed's got the lower dividend payout ratio, although both are higher than the 60% we mentioned. We've mentioned that we are not overly concerned about the safety based on their industry. They both meet that? Yeah. You like that? Okay. Yeah, I'll give it an ish check, maybe a, yeah. maybe a pencil. Yeah, maybe a, oh, whoa, I, I, I <laughs> checked it. Okay. Um, yeah, they, the big difference to me is the dividend history. Con Ed, dividend aristocrat, you're not going to beat that. Duke Energy, not a dividend aristocrat. They've only increased their dividend for eight years. Quite frankly, I've received a lot of dividend cuts over the last few months, so I've been to thinking a lot more about dividend safety, so I put a little more weight to Con Ed in this category. So, Bert, if you had $100, where are you putting it? I'm picking Con Ed for this one. What about you? Touche. Well, you know, from a high level, you know, Con Ed has a safer dividend payout ratio right now, has the deep history of dividend growth. I mean, it's one thing if Duke had eight years and Con Ed had 12 years, but we're talking Con Ed actually has almost six times the number of years that Duke has been increasing the dividend. And it's got Edison in the name. Thomas frickin' Edison. I mean, so Con Ed, that's where I would put, you know, if I had $100 and had to invest into one utility dividend company and I had to look at Duke and Con Ed, Con Ed. So there you have it, folks. The two of us are putting our $100 in Con Ed if we had to pick between the two of them. So obviously, let us know what you think of our analysis here in the comment section. Who are you picking? Are you going Con Ed or are you going Duke Energy? Or are you going AEP because you're in Columbus, Ohio? Oh, curveball. The Buckeye State. First Energy in Cleveland. Might want to. Oh. Too soon? Too soon. Yeah. Well, let's let the investigation play out first before we bring up First Energy. Although we are shareholders. But yeah, please let us know in the comments what you think about these two dividend companies and which one you may be buying now, which one is in your portfolio, or which one are you mm -hmm. actually paying your monthly bill to. And again, if you like these dividend battle royales, please just give us that thumbs up and we will keep bringing them to you. And let us know also in the comments section what two companies you want to see next. We've done... Quite a few now. This is, I think, the fourth one. Yeah, we've done quite a few. Yeah, so let's keep bringing them to you and let us know what you want to see. This is Burton Laney from the Dividend Diplomats. Over, Over and out. out.